Yep. Just get out there and work so, so hard. So come on, hat backwards. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. You join us here. I don't know if it says here, we're in Hartford Station, Hartford just north of London, around about 20 miles north of London, because it's my birthday. So yeah, happy birthday to me. But also, more importantly, I always like to go, oh, I'm gonna run over by this taxi. Always like to go for a nice solid long run on my birthday. And I thought, what better day to go out and smash a long run, do a marathon, give it a bit of an effort and see how we get on than today. So yeah, today the weather is atrocious. <laughs> It is so cold, I can hardly speak. There's like, not storm, but there's been big winds. It's raining, it's really not very nice. But you can't choose the day to do these long runs. It's my birthday and I wanna get it done. So we're gonna run from here, back into London, to the Olympic Stadium. But anyway, I'm gonna go and get warmed up. Right guys, so here we are at the start of today's run. So yeah, this is called the Hartford Canal or the Lee Valley Navigation uh, Route, which starts here in Hartford, actually just down there, and then heads all the way down to Stratford and the Olympic Park um, in just the east side of London. And that's what I want to run today. Could get quite muddy out there. When I first wanted to do this run, I really wanted to give it a max out sort of effort all the way down. That's just going to be impossible today. But we're going to, going to we'll go about three hour marathon pace. We'll see what happens and just see how long we can yeah deal with all the muck and the weather and everything but we're here as always on these long runs just to have some fun right guys here we go it is now started to chuck it down with rain so we've got three hours in the glorious british autumn it's about 12 degrees celsius it's so cold we've got the gloves on we're just going to get drenched we're going to go out and have a laugh we're going to enjoy the birthday sarah's freezing cold as well she's out here giving her all and filming this run so this is very much turning into hat forward conditions get your hats on the website benparks.com and come out and let's smash this winter or summer down in the summer's southern hemisphere as well come on we're going to give this our all 42 0.2k to go, about three hours or so. Let's see what happens. Sit back, relax, enjoy this, guys. I can't wait to get going. So I'm gonna go. We'll see you in a bit. The first 5k in 20 minutes 19 seconds. So wet and vile and horrible and drenched through, but it's my birthday and I'm doing what I want to do, doing what I love more than anything else in the world. in 104 yeah feeling all right one gel down and yeah feeling good so nice to get back to the sort of finish feeling okay still a long way to go it's a marathon so satisfying with my fitness what well, I've lost I haven't been able to just wake up and think I want to go and do that and we're close to getting that back again and that's what feels so nice that's where I get a lot of satisfaction from with my running to getting out and doing it done. Puddle! Oh, it's so wet today. 
been through so many puddles, just drenched. Sarah's covered in muck, but it doesn't matter. We're out living the dream, and I've always gonna get done. Just going under the M25 London Orbital Motorway, and that's the half marathon up in about 126, I think. So yeah, feeling all right. Still going pretty well, and no idea where Sarah is because uh, can't keep up on a bike. As always, running is the best way to get around. Right guys, running through all the puddles. Through a 25k in. Yeah, 403 pace still. Feeling all right. So have you been doing some virtual marathons? have they gone they are really hard much harder than normal races to do virtual you're out here all by yourself getting it done and it's difficult without the crowd support and without your people following along and people around you to cheer but you know what as tough as times have been and i've had some really low moments this year we're all in this together the running community we're all out here working hard, battling through these times to get stronger. But life throws these twists and turns at you. And it just goes to show, with some hard work, you can get where you want to be. I want to be a sub three marathon again. It's been hard losing all that fitness. But yeah, it's coming back and we're getting it done. We're all out there day after day running together, following each other on Strava and Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and it's a great running community and I'm really proud and lucky to be part of it and help out a lot of you guys as well so I hope you've been doing well with your virtual races your virtual runs and soon we'll all be back running together side by side A lot of people ask me, what do you do when it gets tough in a marathon? How do you get those through those tough, tough points in races? Here we are, 30k in. The weather's so bad, the legs are starting to hurt. I've run out of gels. Not very sensible planning though. And yeah, it's these runs that get you through races. It's these runs where you put yourself out there, you work hard. You put yourself out in bad weather. You don't wait till tomorrow when it's going to be sunny all day. You can't wait for your race and start time to be at the right time. What are you going to do if your race is like this and you never practice in it? Working hard in your sessions, working faster than marathon pace, learning how to suffer, how to go that extra mile, learning how to train harder, and faster don't sit on the sofa work hard and your dreams can become a reality my dream is to run the sub 220 marathon and i want to do that next year it was taken away from me this year by a bad accident and something out completely out of all of our control but we will do it i know we will do it and it just get out there and work so so hard so come on, tap backwards now. Let's get this done, guys. Wish I could be at Hackney Marshes Park Run. How nice would that be? We'll be back soon, Park Run. Cannot wait. Miss it so much. Seeing people. It's what has been the hardest thing about this whole time. The loneliness, the isolation. And parkrun, that oh, checks me up. Gives people a reason to get out every week. It is so hard that it's been taken away right now. But we'll be back at parkrun zine. 
you can see how much it means to me. k going guys 23 miles getting on the outskirts of stratford now everybody out here living canal life on their boats the smell of the coal burning inside keeping them warm i wish i was there but if you haven't done already subscribe to the channel join this amazing community get yourself a Ben parks hat on the website use code youtube if you want a wee discount and join us Amazing people out there, getting it done. It's okay, slight little fall at, the, fall at the end there, just to get the shot of the finish. And genuinely, yeah, my birthday today, and she has given me the best birthday present anyone has ever given me in all of my years on the planet, of coming out in this stinking weather, riding a 99 pound Argon bike that we bought yesterday to do this run, handing me drinks, filming, getting the shots. Yeah, which I'm sure she'd much rather be at home or probably up a mountain somewhere and uh, getting it done and her style in the mountains. So yeah, what do we got? 2.51.22 elapsed time. We didn't start, didn't pause the watch once. That is complete how it was. Race style, 42.2k, 26.2 miles. And yeah, I feel on top of the world. One of the proudest runs I've ever done in, yeah. What a birthday it's been. Chat with us when we're warmed up, back in the flat. And yeah, let's get this amazing girl home. And go and see Kiki and our little family. Lovely lot, Sarah. Lovely Thank day. you so much. You. Right guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Here we are a couple of days later at home. It's Sunday morning and we're watching the London Marathon here on TV. And let us know if you have been out doing your virtual London Marathon. We would love to hear all about it down in the comments. Yeah, Kipchoge here behind us is absolutely bossing the race. Like the goat, the greatest of all time that he is. Oh, we haven't got Sarah in the shot. And then, yeah, I've got the uh, commentary also from the Inside Running Podcast boys on the iPhone. So, yeah, catching up with it all. But I hope you enjoyed, yeah, the video. It was really great to be out there running the marathon distance again. And yeah, see what's possible. Maybe on later on this year, we might get a chance to do it again. But yeah, got lots more, great more content coming up for you guys. And also got some new hoodies, which will be on the website in a couple of days. And all the hats and the support that you guys give us. With, here on YouTube with the join link down below and on Patreon. And anyone that's just hitting subscribe and sharing the channel, we really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. So that's it from me, Sarah. Kiki is around somewhere. <laughs> but I think she's having her morning nap. Right guys, thank you very, very much and we'll see you in the next one.